Okay, I'm going to run through getting a textured object loaded into a Windows Phone project. Um, I'm going to start out in Maya. Here we have Maya, it's a new scene. I'm going to just add a box here. And then I'm going to open the texture editor. And you can see for the standard box, we already have our UVs laid out. I'm not really going to go into anything more than this. So, okay, we're going to take a UV snapshot. I'll just call it box texture. I'll just go with the default settings. Now I'm going to open up a professional texturing tool, Microsoft Paint. I'm just going to fill in the boxes here. Those gray lines will actually show up in our texture, so normally you'd want to paint over those. I'm just going to save over it. So now we want to create our material with a texture. So we're going to go to Window, Rendering Editors, and Hypershade. And we're going to start out with just a Lambert material, and we're going to drag that into the working area. And then we're going to go find our texture. We're going to drag that in there too. Uh, you can hook these up by using the middle mouse button, click and drag. And then I'm going to uh, bind that to the color. And then also you can put that on the box by doing another middle mouse button drag. And to see it actually show up on our box, we'll select the box. We'll turn on these textured and filled previews. So now we can see the texture on our box. So I'm going to select the box. Uh, export selection. Um, I already have FBX export selected, so I'm going to just use that. I'm going to call this box. Okay, so that ends the Maya part. So let's go into Visual Studio, create a project. Windows Phone Game 2, sounds like a good name. And, uh, there's a first thing I'm going to do is just set up a camera. So I'll do that real fast. Okay, next thing we need to create the model. I guess it would help at this point to actually have the model. So you can add the model to your project by clicking on your content project. And you can right click and add item. And yeah, we'll add the box. And we might as well add the box texture. And we'll go ahead and load the model. And make sure not to put an extension here. Oh, and then to display it, we'll conveniently paste some code from Sean's blog, which is usually better than MSDN. Deploy it, and hopefully we'll see a box. Oh, that's magic. To make things a little, a little fancier, we'll go ahead and update the world. Okay, awesome. Done.